In case you missed it, I got a $1,000 Lululemon gift card for Christmas and went ham at the gorgeous Fifth Avenue location last month. After creating an unhealthy Lulu obsession, I found myself one day browsing the one in Columbus Circle and realized every location has a sales rack. After impulse buying a few things here, I decided to do the dumbest thing of all time and visit every Lululemon sales rack in Manhattan. So, here we go. But first, some logistics. There are currently 12 Lululemons within the island of Manhattan. We can already check Columbus Circle and Fifth Avenue off the list since I visited and purchased from both of those stores. So that leaves 10 to go. We started at the bottom, now we're here. I hate myself. You'll need to wait till the end of the video to see what I actually walked away with. So without further ado, here we go. First find at this location was the Hooded Define Jacket, originally priced at $128 and marked down to $79. This jacket was definitely cute and fit really well. I also rarely see jackets like this with a hood anymore, so I thought that was actually pretty unique. As am I apparently. I also found this long line energy bra that I totally forgot to get a clip of the price, but I'm pretty sure it was marked down to $34. So with my discount, it was a killer deal. I wasn't totally sure about the color, but this bra and the lighting really made my abs pop for some reason. First find was the Energy Bra High Neck. I actually already owned this bra from my accidental video inspiring Columbus Circle trip, so I knew it would fit really well. But I wanted to make sure the color actually sat well with my skin tone. The bra was originally $58 and marked down to $39. I am a sucker for a high neck and crisscross strap, so it is definitely a great bra for me, and it's really great for high intensity movement. Next find were these on the fly 7 8 pants, which obviously fit me like normal pants since I'm 5 feet tall. They were originally $188, but marked down to $79. I wanted to like these so bad because I'm always looking for a comfy pair of pants that I can kind of dress up. This is what happens when you work in fitness, everybody. You never want to wear jeans. But they just didn't quite sit right around my waist and my hips. They were kind of bulky and would only really be flattering with a very specific top. And last up were the hottie hot shorts. I've literally never seen these before, so I just kind of wanted to try them on. I'm not sure what the original price was, but they were on sale for $39. These were cute. I'm not really a shorts person, but these were a really, really unique find. I like walked in and I was like, what is this? This is not a regular Lululemon. There was no sales rack, so no footage from in there. I also just felt very out of place. I'll like insert clips online of what it looks like. Um, apparently there's only one in New York and then one in Vancouver. And it's all like unique pieces that they're supposed to like reflect the city that they're in. I saw one thing that was on sale for like $180 and it was a jacket. Everything else was like one of a kind. Yeah, it was cool, but I also felt like very out of place. And I was like, okay, well, we're leaving now. So, yeah, we're in NoHo. Yeah, I think NoHo. We're on Bond Street, y'all. This location was huge and gorgeous, but had a really limited sales rack, so that was disappointing. My only good find was the Ebb to Train tights in this very questionable color, originally priced at 118 and marked down to $79. These were very comfortable, but you can just tell from the clip that this is not my color. They also sat a little high on me and they were pretty long, so basically they were just too big. And you could see my underwear through them and they did absolutely nothing for my butt. So spoiler alert, I did not get these.
This was another location that was absolutely gorgeous, but it had a very little sale section. My only quality find was these Wade the Water paddle tights that were marked down to $79. I don't know what the original price was because these seem to be a really old model and they don't really seem to list the prices of the older things. These pants fit pretty well and had a cool design around the sides. They were a little long, but fun fact, Lululemon will actually do free hemming for you, which is always good to know if you do find an amazing deal on the sales rack, but it is just a little too long because you are very short. I also accidentally popped the tag right off these bad boys, so there's that. I hit the jackpot at Hudson Yards. They had a ton of newly marked down items and I got there right when they opened. First up was the Scuba Crew. Originally $98, marked down to $69. This sweater was so comfy and it was actually recommended to me in the comments of my last video. I love the pockets and the color. I just wish it sat slightly higher on me because it was actually hitting me down below my hip. So anytime I moved, it created this kind of weird bulge. The Fast and Free High Rise tight was a great find in a great color. I noticed that I didn't see a lot of shorter pants on the sales rack, so anytime I found something under a 28 inch, I made a point to try them on. These were originally 128 and marked down to $89. They were really cute and I love the pockets on the side. Definitely meant for high intensity workouts because they felt very snug. Not in a bad way, just in like a, I would never lounge around the house in these kind of way. All right, these Align joggers were actually something I was hoping to find so bad on a sales rack somewhere. I have one pair of normal Aligns right now and I'm literally obsessed with the material. They were originally $98, marked down to $79. And you can see these fit so well. My only wish was that I found them in black because I'm really trying to only buy pieces that I can mix and match with a lot of different outfits. And black just would suit a lot better. You can actually see I'm wearing a purple top here and this does not go well but anyway these pants so comfy and lastly are the wonder under high-rise crop I already own full-length wonder under so I was eager to see how the crops held up on me they're originally $88 and marked down to 59 these felt really well and I like the wonder under material but it's kind of the same issue with the purple joggers you know I was really excited about it when I first saw it because I do obviously love purple because you can see that from my top but I can't wear that top with purple bottoms so I do need more black bottoms for sure or maybe I just need more black tops I don't know one or the other but essentially this just did not really work for my wardrobe currently This was probably the most disappointing of the stores in regards to the overall selection and the overall vibe. You can also just see in the dressing rooms, this lighting, woof, like buzz your girlfriend woof, all right? I did manage to find a few pairs of pants to try on though. These were Wonder Under High Rise tights in a gorgeous shimmery velvet. They were originally 118, marked down to 69, making it one of the best deals I found so far at over half off. I knew going in, trying these on, that the 28 inch would be way too long on me, but I wanted to see if the velvet was even flattering or not. Maybe I could get them hemmed. Honestly, it was hard to tell anything and that terrible yellow lighting, but I did find them really comfy. I also found this flurry up tight that I was happy to see came in a more appropriate length for me. Originally 128, they were marked down to $99. I didn't understand why I immediately started sweating when I put these on, but then I quickly realized that they are lined in fleece on the inside and damn were they warm. I would never ever work out in these, but if I were an outdoor runner, not that I'm any kind of runner, these would actually be a great piece to own. This location had some great finds I had never seen before, as well as some great staples. So I was really excited to head into the dressing room and try these pieces on. First up was the Energy Bra, originally $52, marked down to $39. I thought the floral pattern on this one was really cute, and I'm already a fan of the Energy Bra series. I actually own the Energy Bra Long Line and then the Energy Bra High Neck, so it seemed like a good option to add the OG into my collection. 
Next up was the Always Aligned Bra, marked down to $49. Honestly, this one confused me at first. I had never seen it before. It had a weird wrap design, but damn, this looked good on me. And the color was on point. See why I need black bottoms, everybody? I also thought it made my torso look pretty long, which is always nice for someone residing at a very proportionate five feet tall. Next, I tried on this Broken Beats sweater dress, which was originally $128, marked down to $58, now the front runner for the best deal of the video. But here's the real deal. I would never wear this as a dress, let alone out of the house. This would be like a cozy, snuggly sweater that kind of rivals my husband's Coffee Stained Phillies 2008 World Series sweatshirt that I stole from him, and there is no way in hell I would ever wear it in public, nor pay over $40 for a piece of clothing for that function in my wardrobe. So sorry for the spoiler alert, but this was a pass. I found this along the way dress on the sales rack originally for $148, marked down to $74. I didn't have very high hopes for this dress after trying on the last one, and I was right. I just, I, I have no words. I'm not sure who would ever look good in this. Definitely not me. Last up was the Swiftly Tech Crew, originally $78 and slightly marked down to $69. This top was very tight, very long, and very see-through. It's not not cute, but I've definitely worn cuter long sleeve tops. Also, the price wasn't marked down that much to justify something that was just kind of meh. So once again, sorry for the spoilers, but this was a hard pass. I just wanna know, I just wanna know now, do now if you haven't been able to tell yet, I didn't hit up all of these locations in one day. This took me about a month to film because I am a busy lady. So I obviously forgot that I had already tried these pants on three weeks earlier. <laughs> Here are the exact same on the fly 7 8 pants for the exact same price and the exact same thoughts. You can see me here really trying to like them, but again, they just don't sit quite right on my body. I would really need a specific top to go with these pants, but I want a pair of dressier, comfy pants that can literally go with everything. So unfortunately, not today, Lulu. We finally end our journey on the Upper East Side, AKA the closest store to my apartment. This was a fun one because the store was gorgeous, the selection was expansive, and my friend was working there. First up was this adorable Gone for the Week dress for $59. I obviously fell in love with this one right away, and it fit like a damn glove. This is one of those pieces I could wear out to brunch, if I'm meeting friends after a workout class, or if I just need a casual fall or springtime outfit. Next up was the all tied up tank, originally $44 and marked down to $29. This one was really cute, but I didn't realize it until I put it on that the entire back was open. <laughs> Hence the name, you tie it up, all tied up. Um, it was cute, but honestly just not my style. I also need to be really aware that a lot of what I'm buying as far as activewear should be teachable, meaning that I need to be able to wear my mic belt around my hips at least around the bottom without it looking weird. So if I purchase things that sit too low, I end up kind of looking stupid while I'm teaching. Next find was the Train to Be Tank short sleeve shirt, originally $68, marked down to $54. This top was really comfortable. I honestly don't go for sleeves on my tops because I really like my arms and I also sweat a lot. Sorry, it's true. But something about this top and the color were really calling to me. And lastly, I found this perfectly oversized crew, originally listed at $108 and marked down to $79. Obviously, I loved this one. The color is so unique, it is so, so, so comfortable, but I had a really hard time justifying spending almost $60 on a sweatshirt that would basically be for lounging around the apartment in. You can literally see my not so internal struggle right here.
and live.